All right, everybody, this is my 1973 Nova SS. This is a 350 automatic car. Uh, factory colors red metallic, I believe. Now it's obviously like an orange. She's seen some sun, so I think that's the faded red, but I honestly couldn't tell you. But yeah, so far, uh, I've done a few things to her. I bought it last July, uh, July of 2020 in Chicago. I am the third owner, I believe. And uh, so far, I've put a new small block in, which I'll show you in a second. A new M21 Muncie four-speed. New clutch, it's got new rear gears. Here's a picture of the interior. We got bucket seats, black, uh, black velvet on the dash, black velvet on the headliner, if you guys can see that there. It's also in the back there on the rear deck. So as far as powertrain goes here, we got um, a late model small block. As you can see, it's got the passenger side dipstick. This is a 94 roller block. It's got uh, it's Ford 30 over. Comp cam 270H is the part number, I believe. It's like four, 470, 470 lift and like 230 duration, I think. Um, but yeah, then it's got a super tall high rise single plane and then some I don't know if you guys can see that Pro Max aluminum cylinder heads. Um, as far as everything else goes, it's a pretty much stock bottom end, stock four bolt main block, and then uh, some headers. And then for a carb, it's a Holly 650 under there. But yeah, she runs pretty good. It would definitely be quicker with a bigger cam, but uh, I think I'm going to pull the motor out and try to sell it this winter. So we'll see what happens there. So this was a factory automatic car and I think that because if you get in here and you turn the key, this column still spins and uh, I believe that is for like reverse lights and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see on the dash, there's no Prindle, it's just the odometer. Um, but it is a Muncie 4 speed and uh, yeah, her shifter, whole nine yards. the. The Muncie was refreshed by a man named Michael Maselli out in, somewhere on the East Coast. But if we get under here, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all fresh. For wheels down here, we got Jegs. Uh, I think they're called SSR Star Wheels. Uh, backs are 15 by 8, 5.5 backspacing with a 255 Mickey Thompson street radial on it. Um, I got plenty of room right here. Um, it does, I don't know if you guys can see back in there, but um, it's pretty tight. Let's see if I can get it under there. Um, we're pretty close to the shock there, as you can see. Um, the other side's a little bit worse. But um, I think a 275 would rub, but everybody says it'll fit. That's what I run, though. They look pretty good. And then for the front, it's a 15 by 4. I don't know the backspacing. It doesn't really matter since this one's so skinny. Um, but then it's a 165, 80, 15 on the front. For the rear end back here, we got a stock GM 10 bolt with 373 gears and a positive unit off jags. Stock C-clips, I did not eliminate them. And uh, it's doing all right. Um, for people that are looking to do the upgrade, I do a lot of cruising. A 373 is a little much. For a 255, 60, I'm about three grand. Here's a tack, you guys can see it in there. I'm at about three grand in fourth gear going 55 mile an hour, and I just, I think that's a little much. This thing isn't really built for higher PM, so I shift at five. So I kind of feel like when I'm cruising, it's already running out of breath. So for everybody wondering how much I paid and all that, um, these cars are going up significantly in value. But in July of 2020, I bought the car for 4,800. Um, maybe it's 47. I think it was 47. Anyways, um, since then, I you know I put a new motor, a new train, new clutch, new hood, new wheels. Uh, I have a, I've had to do brake lines. I did the rear gears. I would say overall, I'm probably in at about 10 grand right now. But uh, once I get it painted this winter and fix some rust, I don't I don't see why the car wouldn't bring that much if I ever wanted to sell it. I don't know if you guys can see that inside the uh, spring there, but as far as suspension goes on this thing, I have competition engineering drag shocks all the way around. Fronts are set up at 90-10. Rears I had at 50-50, but I didn't think they were working enough because the car would bog when I launched it. So now they're at 70-30 uh, or 30-70, I forget which way it is. 
but uh, yeah, drag shocks on all four corners, and then I do have some Lakewood slapper bars. So yeah, here's a uh, overview of the whole car. Um, I live in Illinois. Obviously, it's going to have rust, and for the price I paid, uh, I don't think I can argue with it, especially since I got to use it as a learning experience to uh, figure out how to do some body work. But, yep, here's the car. I am 18. Uh, I've paid for everything on this car. Um, so that's why, you know, the paint ain't the best. But So uh, I'm just making this video because not too much longer I'm going to be taking it apart for the winter and fixing some rust, maybe put a new engine in it. And uh, I just wanted to film this now so I could see what the car looked like before I did all the work. I'm going to be trying to film some updates on how I'm doing the quarter panels in the back. Sorry if it's a little windy, but I'm going to be filming how I'm going to fix the quarter panels and all that. Just so, you know, if I post this in the Nova group on Facebook, everybody on there can watch it. Maybe if they're scared to attack it themselves. Like I said earlier, I am 18 years old, so if I can do it, I think you guys can. And I'm in college, so 18-year-old with a college kid budget. I'm sure you guys could figure out if I can. Like I said earlier, guys, this is a 355 small block with a comp cam, 270 hydraulic flat tap it. And uh, here's what it sounds like, because I know that's what matters the most here. So here we go. start isn't perfect here but uh oh you guys can see that light there that's what i was talking about while well, i think it's a factory automatic car because if i go in there and i move that column it'll be off but like i said the car's not tuned perfect for cold start so i just got to kind of help her till she'll idle but i mean after that i think it sounds pretty good She's idling at about 700, 800 in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I do not shift at seven. Let's not get that confused here. Stock bottom end. I want to keep it, uh, keep it together so I can sell it for a little bit of money this winter. But yep, that's what it sounds like. Under here, no weird ticks or anything. She's pretty solid. Runs like a sewing machine. Just ATI and Holly Carb. I had to slip a little bit because she'll die right now since she's cold, but. Surgeon right there. Like I said though, it's not even off 100 degrees yet. 60 PSI oil pressure. I'm gonna insert some clips now that I have of the car that you know I didn't get to show right now. Maybe some photos of some car shows, but um, I'm gonna put those in and then uh, I'll be back soon this winter with some videos on what I'm doing to fix this thing up. Thank you.